Hello guys, welcome to Start for Tutorials. In this session, we will be dealing with design and analysis of multi-storied frame, particularly as shown in the figure. So, this multi-storied frame is subjected to dead loads of 40 kN per meter and drive loads 20 kN per meter, and the percentage of steel should be less than 3% in design and analysis and there are three ways of 4.2 meters and four ways of 3.2 meters <laughs> right and there is also a wind load of intensity 25 20 15 and 10 at different nodes so we will be applying all this in strata pro basically start strata pro select new project give it plain give some name meter and kilonewton select next add beam finish well you will come up with a grid so initially change it to front view no need to edit it just go to geometry select structural wizard run structural wizard now select frame models and select b a frame you need to give the length which is which is 4.2 4 4.2 4.2 12.6 it's 12.6 and it is number of base are 3 which makes it 4.2 and height is 3.2 this is 12.8 4 base ok apply this this is our frame we need to transfer this frame to our start pro screen yes you need to keep these coordinates zeros since it will be starting at zero ok now switch off the grid now let us go to general and define the property so define rectangle give size 0.35 by 0.23 select the size and assign it to the whole structure now go to support give fixed support assign to the top bottom nodes coming to loads and definition we have three types of loads dead load live load and wind load and also file load combinations so initially load case details add load case 1 dead load add load case 2 live load add load case 3 wind load add close select load load add which is UDL uniformly distributed uniform force minus 40 as it is given live load uniform force minus 20 next comes is wind load add wind load is a nodal load which is fx minus 25 add minus 20 add minus 15 add minus 10 add close now you need, to, uh, you need to assign these loads so first comes the dead load which is only to the beams parallel to x-axis so go to select option in menu bar select beams parallel to x-direction and assign to the selected beams assign yes similarly same with the beams parallel to x-direction select to assign with uh, 
now you need to assign the wind loads which is a nodal load so select node cursor and select the particular node assign to the selected node assign the direction is positive since it is in the direction of x direction as shown in figure so we will edit this by clicking edit option and removing the minus and selecting change same with other all other options change now select the node is selected assign to the selected node assign yes next 15 kilo newtons so assign to selected node assign yes similarly the last one so the wind load gets assigned now we need to create load combinations so select load case details add define combinations here comes combinations so first combination is dead load plus live load and the factor will be 1.5 which is factor of safety so select dead load and live load and send it to the other side and, and select add similarly dead load plus live load plus wind load so select all the three and the factor is 1.5 add Send it to the other side and then select add. Now select dead load plus live load minus wind load. As I said in the previous class, in order to put minus symbol in action, so we initially select dead load and live load and send it to the other side, then select wind load and give the factor as minus 1.5 so as to form minus wl add now we will be having another combination dead load plus live load plus in load and the factor will be 1.2 send it to other side add so the four combinations are enough for this class tutorial class this way four combinations are created now comes the design and analysis part so initially we will be selecting the design tab and we will be selecting concrete for concrete we will be selecting the particular code whichever you like current code IS456 select define parameters first you need to select FC which is compression strength we will be giving 20,000 for M20 and 30,000 for M30 and next is FY main which is yield strength which will be 450 for FE45415 add select the similar value next comes ratio which is 3 percentage maximum that's it select close now you need to define the commands so select commands tab design beam add design column add take off add and close this now you will be seeing all the question marks it, it means that they are not assigned so select FC 30,000 compression strength select the entire structure assign to the selected beams yes similarly FY so 
similarly f i secondary secondary reinforcement similarly the ratio to the entire structure but coming to design beam you need to select only beams parallel to x direction so select beams parallel to x direction and assign to selected beams assign yes similarly beams parallel to y direction assign to selected beams assign for column this ends concrete design now we need to analyze the entire structures so select analysis and print add close select analyze run analysis save the structure the analysis will run Let go to post processing mode done. <coughs> okay. Well, deflection icon is already on. So select control and roll the cursor. Sorry, mouse. You can see the deflection for wind load. For dead load, you can see it downward. But for a combination of loads, you can see it in other way. In order to view values, go to results, view value, view results, maximum displacement annotate. In this way, the results can be obtained similarly bending moment shear force and axial force is obtained This is the design is done. In order to view that, is there any beam failing? Go to select, select by specification, all failed beams. No beams failed first. You know. Select okay. Now go to modeling mode. Select the columns. Double click the columns. If this concrete design tab appears then the column hasn't failed if it doesn't appear then the column has failed select concrete design tab you can see the steel percentage as 2.99 it should be between 1 to 3 you need to select all the members you can see this there is no concrete design tab the column has failed similarly to this one this has been saved failed in this case what we need to do is go to general property define some other size bigger for the inner columns 0 0.40 by 0 0.3 add close select the size and select the columns now assign to selected beams assign yes select yes now continue with analysis print analysis close you need to do the same process until all the columns are safe both in percentage of steel and concrete design now we shall check so it comes it is safe in this way in this way the design analysis for a multi story frame is carried out
so <coughs> you can view the displacement animation by selecting animation tab in post processing mode and selecting section displacement apply and closing this you can see the sectional displacement for the for a particular type of load you can view it combination whatever the combination it matter in order to switch off it just press escape or you can go to modeling mode so this is the end of the end of the tutorial you can view the values in results so thank you and do subscribe to this channel